So what we're doing is we're getting these little jobbers ready to go into the bracket that connects these two guys together. So let's see. Let's start over here. Okay, now, let's get these next two ready. So uh, that's the first one. I'm gonna take a break, drink a cold beer. I'll finish the next one in a minute. All right, uh, we're back, I think. So before we move on to the second one, a couple things that I'm gonna walk through. I'm gonna grab the camera and uh, I'm actually gonna pull it off and uh, take it over here so you guys can look at this. So a couple things, first of all, if you notice up in here, and this kind of freaked me out at first, but uh, it's all cool, according to Will. I just talked to one of my buddies who talked to Will the other day. So you see that uh, spring. Notice how it looks kind of funky. It doesn't look like it's straight with that. I guess that's by design. So, you know, as you put your spring on, don't panic or anything. Uh, the next thing that I noticed when I put in this bolt here that's on the inside, not that outside one, but this one on the inside, I noticed that uh, it locks flush on the inside but you still have some play on that uh, that white washer that moves back and forth that part right there that has some play definitely so it's not you know like it's really tight it's kind of loose as a matter of fact if you look up in there you can see you don't even see the white washer it's kind of tucked back in there behind the spring so you know a couple things to just think about as you're putting it in 
uh, in terms of motion, you know, as you can see, it kind of works pretty good. It goes up and down. It looks like it's got some pretty good tension on it. Everything's kind of loose in here, but, you know, I just think that's the way Yamaha makes them, so we're not panicking on that. All right, I'm going to shut the camera, and then I'll get started on the second side, and I'll just let you guys watch.